Okay, we're going to do a quick review. This is staff pay Ahmed Aleph. You see that pay with the one dot is pay Ahmed Aleph. And we're going to start from the Mishnah. I'm not going to read it inside. We'll just do it outside. Okay, the, um, the Mishnah discusses that a donkey can carry a blessing of chitim. And if instead of bringing chitim, he brought, chitim means wheat, instead of bringing the wheat, he brought barley, and he added an extra three kav onto it, at least that's how Abai is going to learn it, he's going to be chayev, because three kav is one thirtieth of a lesach of uh, the 15 saw that it can carry. And the second case would be if he hired it to bring grain, and instead he brought uh, straw, so, and he added one third more, whatever that is, it doesn't tell us but he would be chayev. And the reason is because the volume is as difficult as the weight. And just like if you would add in weight, uh, a three kav uh, to the wheat, you would be chayev. So also if you add in the size and to the volume of the barley, even though it doesn't weigh that much as the wheat, but you would be chayev. That's um, the first half of the Mishnah. Uh, the second half of the Mishnah, so there were two cases. We explained it according to Abaya. Uh, the second half of the Mishnah says that if you made up to bring a lesech of chitim, but instead you brought a lesech of, of barley, so in other words, now it's just the same size. So obviously you're putter because the same size is fine and the weight is less anyway. However, if you added, then you're going to be chayev. And how much adding would make you chayev? And so I'm reading this according to Abaya. How much adding of this barley would make you chayev? So if if it's a camel, then you would be a kor. And if it's a donkey, which that was the case we were talking before, so that would be three kav. So three kav would make you chayev. Okay, all that we read the Mishnah according to Abaya. Um, let's see the Gemara, and then we'll go back to the way uh, Rava would read the Mishnah. So the, the Gemara now says that there's a Machlech Sabaya in Rava, the, in the text of the Mishnah. This is the piece of the Gemara highlighted. Abaya learns that the text of the Mishnah is that volume is as difficult as weight. So if you would add three kav, you would be chayev. Um, so also, even if the weight isn't the same of, in barley, if you would have, add three kav, you would be chayev. Rava says... That's not what the Mishnah says. The Mishnah says that volume is difficult to the weight. So if you have the equal weight, then you would be chayev if the volume is bigger. So according to Rava, it would have to be a weight or a, a size in barley of 16 sa, not 15 plus 3 kav, but actually 16. And that's when you would be chayev because the volume would be increased onto the weight you already have the same weight, 16 saw of barley is the same as 15 saw of wheat, plus you have the the uh, the uh, the size of it. Okay, now the Gemara has a question, and it's a question on Rava. It's going to read the Mishnah, and it goes, it, this is highlighted, the, the Gemara. Okay, so it quotes the Mishnah. It's the second half of the Mishnah that we just uh, discussed. The second half of the Mishnah said that if you made up to bring a lesach of chitin, but instead you brought a lesach of barley, you're putter because the size is le- uh, the the size is the same, the weight is less. However, if you did add on to it, then you're going to be chayev. So the Gemara assumes that adding on would mean adding on three kav, which is clearly the opinion of Abaya that if you add on three kav, you're going to be chayev. The Gemara says no, adding on a sa would make you chayev, and that's the opinion of Rava. But the Gemara says, what are you talking about? I read the Mishnah. The Mishnah says, how much adding makes you chayev? And it says, uh, for a camel, it's one thing, but we're discussing a donkey. And for a donkey, it's only three kav. That's clearly a buyer's opinion. The Gemara says, no, you didn't read it right. The, the, that case of the Mishnah that's referring to, that says that um, how much adding is going to make you chayev, that's not talking about uh, if you changed it for barley. That's talking about if you kept it as wheat, but you added on to the wheat that you were allowed to bring. So over there, everyone would agree that three kav would make you chayev. On barley, that's a different story. The Mishnah didn't mention how much barley would make you chayev, but the Rava would hold that it would be an, an entire so, which the Mishnah didn't tell us that. But it just said adding on uh, would make you chayev. What, what exactly adding on it, it is, uh, how much? Rava would say it's a... Asa. Okay, so we don't have a question on Rava. Okay, now we're going to start Tashima. This is a Brisa. Um, just a quick review. Uh, if they made up to bring a Lesach of Chitim, but instead he brought a 
he brought 16 uh, saw of barley. He brought 16 saw of barley, uh, which sounds like um, Rav's opinion. He must say 16 saw you chayev, but uh, three kav uh, extra you not chayev. So Abaya would have to answer this. He says that it's talking about a different type of 16 saw. It's talking about 16 saw that were all smoothed off on the top, and therefore it was a different measurement than what we're, what we were dealing with before. Before we were dealing with 15 and a half saw. That means each of them, each saw, I guess they had small containers of saws. Uh, um, each saw had a little bit extra. So so to add on to that, it would only be 15 and a half. That would be the limit, uh, and you would be chayev already over there. However, if it's smoothed off on the top, the word is b'mechiksa, if it's smoothed off on, on the top, then you would need actually 16 saw to make you chayev. Okay, the last Gemara that we learned was that if a person adds on uh, to a porter, someone that's carrying a load, he adds on an extra kav, so to what he can carry, normally he can only carry uh, 30 kav, which is 5 saw, you add it on an extra one, so you would be chayev. Um, so the Gemara asks on this, I'm skipping a little bit, but and then I'll get back to it. The Gemara asks, um, why you chayev if he's, a, if he's a regular person, he should feel it's too heavy and throw it off. So we gave three answers. Abaya's answer is that he did throw it off, but it hurt him immediately. So you threw it off fine, but the damage was done. Rava's answer is, we are, we're not talking about damage. We're talking about if you add it on a kav, you have to pay him for that kav that you added on. It's a new fee. Uh, it goes by the pound, or it goes by the kav. You have to pay him for that. Uh, Ravashi says that he, it's, he actually uh, didn't throw it off immediately, and he didn't realize that it was extra weight that it was on him. It was kind of fooled. He thought that it was, he felt it was heavy. He thought that it was his own weakness, but... Um, but uh, the reason why he didn't throw it off immediately is he thought, okay, I'm a little tired today or something. But um, not that uh, not that there was too much they wouldn't be able to carry it. Okay, but then th- that's the three answers of why the person that adds on the kav would be chayev. The, the rest of the Gemara is that if you add on a lesech onto a small boat, um, you would be chayev. If you had a core onto a, a regular boat, an average boat, you would be chayev. If you had three core onto a large boat, a borni gedola, then you would be chayev. Each one is one thirtieth of what it can really carry. And uh, the Gemara says that, oh, if you add on a core onto a boat, uh, you're going to be chayev. Obviously, a boat can carry 30 core because it's always one thirtieth. What's the difference? Why does it have to tell this to me? It says it has to tell me v'lamekach memkar that if a person would would um, buy a boat that did not contain or could not uh, carry 30 core, then he would be um, it would be a bad sale, an invalid sale. Okay, that is the review, and the test will be on Sunday.